I'm here today with Mr. Owen Peel of Aurora, North Carolina. Owen has been a customer of uh, Grasshopper Fertilizer for the past three years. And the uh, 1052-2, he has uh, been using 1052 as a starter of pop-up fertilizer under beans and corn. And I think you actually sprayed across some wheat this past year. Can you uh, give us a little uh, information, Owen, on uh, the 1052-2, how you like it, and uh, the results you're seeing with the 1052-2? 1052-2 uh, is an excellent product. Uh, we use it, as Ed said, for pop-up and corn, like is recommended. Uh, we put a bag of two acres and at least 10 gallons of water. And, uh, excellent results with it now soybeans will put three bag I mean three acres to a bag mm -hmm. and yeah we did a little experiment we like to do a lot of experimenting mm -hmm. and we experimented some last year with some 1052 2 over some wheat and uh, it did okay it was a little bit cool when we put it out there but you could tell when that wheat greened up and the phosphorus really helped it put right. a better root system on it and uh, that particular wheat that we sprayed it on went over 100 bushels an acre uh, and we used it as well with 4200. Uh, what we do in, in our farming practices is we, anytime we cross a field with a chemical, we're going to have some fertilizer in it. And we use grasshopper because it mixes so well, it stays in solution, not suspension. And in staying in solution, it doesn't clog up your tips, it doesn't hurt your pumps, and you can mm. leave it sitting there a year if you need to. If you've got some left over, and it's still just as good as the day you mixed it. Uh, the 4200 we use on wheat when we come back across with a fungicide and insecticide in the spring uh -huh. of the year. Uh, it gives it a really good boost. And this past year, uh, we used 4200 as our carrier when we put out our herbicide on corn. And then when we came back and it was about five foot tall, uh, right before tasseling, and hit it again. Cross top. Sometimes we'll put a fungicide in with that. Sometimes we won't. It depends upon the the health of the corn at that time. Well, why? What is the purpose of using the 4200 uh, pre-tassel? Uh, I know you. Oh, it gives you a kick, man. It just gives that corn a kick, and it comes right on out. Uh, it's so much better in our practices. The foliar fertilizer is so much better than applying it in the ground. So much more efficient. So much more cost effective than putting it in the ground and the leaves take it up not the root system it's not it's right. not as dependent upon the amount of water that you got in the soil or or what your ph is mm -hmm. it is picked up so readily and, and in fact you can see it in a week's time it turns nearly so green it's black well do you think that uh, finish uh filling your ear of corn out also uh by putting it on that late you, uh, you get a some... you get a boost in that plant the where that little boost of nitrogen that comes in that plant that puts right. that that helps that ear elongate and stay there and finish filling it out when sometimes when corn and you can put your nitrogen in the ground you'll run out of nitrogen right for one reason or another it's leached out or or your plant can't pick it up but when you put the foliar grasshopper into the plant itself, it takes it up. Right. And right. then you have it inside that plant. And it makes some, uh, oh yeah, we've had some excellent results with grasshopper. <laughs>